when we see like the the standard is eroding it's not coming back then we're like oh crap but what we haven't seen in the past is the community becoming their own scientists to help combat climate change If you live in an island, you can feel the effects of climate change more. Teacher Jamil Sayaz is very concerned. And then you just keep marking until you get to the water. He believes that what's happening today is a clear indication of what's to come. So in less than 20 years, half of Wainai's store is going to be flooded. Wainai High School is going to be flooded. Makaha Beach is not going to be a beach. So this is always a, a challenge, is trying to understand the entire picture. When we were measuring the width from sand to water, the sand was displacing more to the road. Like, yeah, maybe in a couple of months, we, we have three or four or five, up to 20 feet receding. But then we can see that during the um, summertime, those sand comes back. When we see like the, the sand that is eroding, it's not coming back, then we're like, oh, crap. And then like a minute to calibrate. And you have to use fresh water first before you try to do like, other kind of water samples, yeah. With tape measures, drones, and iPads from Oceanit, a coastal engineering company, Jamil and his students collect data at Makaha Beach to track the coastal erosion. I mean, it, it's just like another simple day at the beach, but you know what I mean? It's like more, more so of having a responsibility than just being there to cruise. But what we haven't seen in the past is the community becoming their own scientists to help combat climate change. And then we continue rolling down to go to the first um, to sea level, yeah. Monitoring the changes at the beach will help the students as they move into the next phase of their project, proposing a solution. The more information we collect, the more informed we'll be about what we need to know before we make the next decision when it comes to like constructing and development. This process that they are currently following raises Jamil's hopes for the future. I feel doing those kind of exercises may show a sense of urgency to the community. So we can make better decisions that have long-term lasting impacts for the community. This is Denise Cabrera from YNI High School for Hikino on PBS Hawaii.